What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here today and today uh, we are back with another pond based video and yes you saw the title you saw the thumbnail of this video. We are building the ultimate mega brush pile. As y'all know in the past we've laid out four brush piles in here and we've got them all over the place. Hold on. So we've got one here. Hold on. We've got like one right up in this area, one way over there, one way over that way, and then we had one way out in the middle of the pond, there was a tree. But if you can see at the tip of my finger, that little tree right there, um, that is where it's at now. It, it drifted all the way from over there, all the way over here. And then early in the future, we had laid one right over there with the tree where that giant bass uh, struck at my bait. So, what are we doing today? Um, we are making a sixth and final brush pile. I know that sounds completely wrong, but um, you're probably like, well, you got like five in there already, plus a, a tree that's like part way in the water. Why put another one in there? Well, I'll tell you why. Um, this is the reason why. This willow tree right here is dead. And this is part of the reason why we're actually uh, doing this. Well, I could just not do this video and I could just pick up a limb and put them in a burn pile. But the burn pile is already really, really big. So um, I was thinking, why don't we just do something else with the limbs? Some of them are pretty big. They kind of uh, filled up with twigs. Why don't we make a big brush pile out of it? And some of the limbs have already fallen on the ground. So um, we can actually, I'll actually show you all some of these. Um, they're actually really good for a brush pile. Really good bases as well. So as we can see, this is one of the big ones. So this one's kind of broken apart a little bit, but as you can see, it's got this one standing up and um, just a really good base. Then over here, we've got like a smaller bit. We could probably use that for something. We've got another really good base bit. Once again, another good one, another one, and just some other like uh, logs. This is my dog. This is his grave. Um, it needs to be cleaned up. <laughs> but I wanted him to put. I wanted to put him under this tree, and it looked good back then. But now it's falling apart, so I need to pick it up. Pay my, pay my respects to Lou. Just kind of give him a little salute. What's up, mate? Um. Uh. But yeah, these are some of the uh, limbs we're going to be using. But we actually got some other ones. If we take a little jaunt over here across my driveway. You beauty um we can actually see this little mess over here and actually i'm gonna show y'all something that i don't think i've ever shown y'all um before we've got a creek filled with some monster frogs in the spring so uh maybe one day we could do a frog hunting video and catch some of these bad boys make some frog lakes that would be pretty cool but over here, you can see this mess of branches and everything. These are going to be the secondary part. These are just a bunch of random pieces of wood, like oak sticks and whatnot. Um, you can see a couple of them, but we can take a couple of these, this guy right here, and that is perfect for brush pile. So that is what we're gonna be using. We've got plenty of them all over the place around this driveway. I mean, even this one right here is like super big. We've got some big ones back there behind this bar bar fence. We got this thing. It's got a number two and a seven on it for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but then we've got these over here. Uh, I think this is a cypress tree. I'm not too sure. Uh, if you guys know what uh, kind of tree this is, please let me know. I think it's a cypress. I'm not too sure because it, it looks like evergreen leaves and those are evergreen trees over there, but we've got a bunch of these down as well. And these actually sink. This wood right here actually sinks, which is what makes me think it's a cypress. And then we've got this big thing right here. This is a giant log that I'm pretty sure, like I'm, I can kind of lift it, but it would more be of a drag all the way over to the shed to build this thing. And it's going to be an absolute struggle, but We've got like some giant logs over there. There might be some good stuff over there for us to use as well as some snakes. So if we get some snake action in this video, y'all get to see something cool. But we've got a bunch of these. These are also like really good pieces, like especially at the ends where they kind of like just go into twigs. Look at that. That's perfect for bait fish. So what we're doing is we're going to 
we're going to try and make just the ultimate brush pile the ultimate singular brush pile for all the fish in here um now in a couple videos i have actually shown y'all these structures and talked about them i think i've shown y'all these structures in one video and i've talked about them in others but i haven't really shown y'all them that much so let's take a quick jaunt over to the shed and show y'all these uh structures i've made okay so here are the structures that i have made so we're gonna start off with this one right here this is supposed to be like our bass pro like type structure it's not supposed to look like this it's actually supposed to be propped up on this little end right here that's supposed to go out be as like some cover and then this little stick right here is tied up to act as another prop and it's going to stand up on this as well so it's supposed to be super vertical um let's see if i can actually get it oh god to do its little show for us see if he'll okay so it's supposed to look like this that is what it's supposed to look like so it's supposed to be a huge bass pro structure we already got the final anchor uh tied up to it and it's been here for months um and months and this is the other one this is what i uh this is my pride and joy right here this thing looks like a giant raft but <laughs> that's what that's what i call it i call it the raft but oh excuse me as you can see if y'all remember this vi the video where we took all that all this wood and we propped it up against the shed, this is what has happened to it. Uh, these two trees are the main stabilizers. That just fell. Um, so every single piece of wood is tied to these trees, except for these like giant clusters. These have. The reason these are tied up is because they're super pieces, he super heavy pieces of wood. Like this right here, this giant piece of cypress. This is another piece of cypress, so this is already going to sink. We got this long piece of uh, oak right here, I think that is. But like just some heavy pieces of wood that are have a cinder block on top of them. These are the lighter pieces, but the longer ones as well. So they were put here for a reason. Um, and... So these are all gonna like just go down real nicely. Um, and once they're waterlogged, they'll just like sink. These are our heavier pieces. Um, and once again, they just got a cinder block so that they don't float because this is all like different pieces. I think this once again is cypress, but I'm not too sure. But we got a giant ant bed growing on one of the trees and I can't even kick it to Right, um, I probably can. Like, if I just like put my foot here and boom, kick. There you go. I might have riled them up. Yeah, I did a little bit. But anyways, you get the point. This is for catfish, and they're supposed to like when uh, uh excuse me, um, when this sinks, it's supposed to. They're supposed to be able to go and swim under this. So we got some gaps where they can like go under um, and they'll probably just be chilling out under here where they actually got some space. So they got gaps where they can escape and whatnot. Would you get off of it? Look at you. You ain't supposed to be on that. Anyways, um, it was supposed to be out there where the leak was in the deepest area of the pond. But as we can see, the pond is now full and we've got no way of putting it there. So I had an idea. I've got a good friend. He's got some waders. So what we're going to do, uh, hopefully, because we've got a day off this week of school. Um, we got Friday off. We're going to wait. We're going to put the waders on, go out as far as we can and just push this thing out there. Uh, that's how we're going to get it out there. And then this thing was supposed to go all the way over to that corner right there i don't know on camera it looks like i'm pointing at it but realistically i'm not i'm pointing at the middle of the pond but um that's where those were supposed to go but once again the pond is super filled up and those are the two deepest areas of the pond so yeah um that is what those are for the uh that bass pro structure is obviously a bass structure but those were mainly for catfish but bass are gonna hang around them anyways just to like not get face punched by me when I'm fishing in here. Um, and but hopefully not, no trespassers as well. Like, 
because that is the one thing. Um, if y'all don't watch Jingle with Jordan, he's my huge inspiration for this whole thing. I've wanted to stock the pond for ages, but he has uh, helped me figure out how I'm going to do this. Um, and um, he's just been like a huge help his videos have. He hasn't personally like told me anything. Uh, I've just pu put this all together with his videos. So thank you, Jordan or Brandon for your, uh, for making pond videos. I would love to see more on your channel. Um, but yeah, we're going to go grab our vest and then we're going to go grab every single piece of wood that we can. So let's go. Okay. So apologies if the phone is like, if the filming's like a little bouncy, uh, the vest is like completely messed up, but you know, whatever. I got some insulated gloves on, so we're good. Um, absolutely good so hands are gonna keep warm and away from blisters because you know that's always fun but uh yeah we're gonna actually do this real quick that way it's a little straight for you guys oh that's way better thank you see i'm such a big brain when it comes to filming <laughs> but um Anyways, we're going to go pick up some of these willow tree limbs, and we're going to make the base of this. I've got somewhat of an image in my head of what this is going to look like. I mean, y'all have seen the thumbnail. I have no idea what it's going to look like until I actually finish it. Although I just said, like, I have a, I have a concept image. So, so about this willow tree, as more uh, fall down, I don't think we're going to be able to add them to this pile. Uh, I think, like, over time, like, these are going to fall. Like, I could probably pull some of these, like, uh, non-heavy ones off. Like, I could probably get a chainsaw cut this bad boy down right here. Like, but he's very loose. Um, so, I hang on that. It's coming down. But let's get to work, you know. be really careful with that one because it is not good i mean i could probably with enough force break this little stick with my hands but anyways this is going to be the start for the base i mean look at that Figure out where we're gonna put these. We're actually gonna put one right here. Um, and kind of just lay it down right there. So we're gonna try and make this look completely natural, like everything fell from the sky and just winded up in here. And there go the dogs chasing each other. And then we're gonna put this one right here. Ammo. So this is our foundation, as you can see. Uh, the middle bit for the bait fish, sorry. Um, the uh, middle bit for the bait fish is actually coming up real well. guy um i was thinking like that way but we're gonna put him right here just like that does that work i think that works because that's 
kind of sticking up, which we don't want. So we're gonna put him, like I said, kind of like right there. That way that's like hanging off of it, you know? See that? So now that's like hanging. And this one is gonna go right here. So now we've got that big old hook kind of like hanging out. And now we've got this entire little strike zone right here. So as you can see, there's the hook. It comes out way out here and the bass will love this, dude. They'll just be chilling out here. And if anything comes in this little area that I'm in, this little ring right here, this is the ring of death. You come out of there and here and you're done dead dunzo bye bye swallowed Uh, dude is going right here out this way so we're going to shove him in right there and look at that so now this is what I mean by the middle area um, once again you've got some under action so the bass can go in that got this sticking out right here so the bass can go I'm sorry if I'm like doing some weird hand motions like I'm looking like a samurai character like I'm yeah Summoning some, summoning some sort of aura or something. guys got the uh this is the fork almost so these guys are gonna just go dead on on top and kind of even it out so uh now the brush pile is actually getting a lot more natural looking so you've got some of these ones sticking up um as you can see so now the bass actually have a comfort zone where they can get in the twigs right here. So, once again, bait fish have the absolute utmost authority to just chill out here. But if they come out, and they will, because they have to eat, they're going to get absolutely smacked. And once again, bait fish are what we're gonna be putting in this pond, and it's probably what we're gonna be fishing with. So, this guy is going to go on top of the ring right here. So, we're gonna gently set him right here. So, now, um, and I know you are probably like, okay, I need to stop because the more I add, the harder it's gonna be to cast and the more obvious it's going to be when it's in the water. I know where I'm putting this thing and I know for a fact that it's going to stay underwater because um, I'm gonna put a cinder block on this thing and trust me it's gonna stay down Sick. 
That looks really good. And probably the highest part of the brush pile so far. Highest point. And then we're gonna put this guy right here, once again, on top of the ring. We're gonna put him just like this. So there you go. That is the brush pile on day one. We're kind of holding the vest right here to make it steady. So um, here's what we got. We got a bunch of under areas for the bass to chill. We've got loads of twiggy little areas for the bait fish and the brim to go in. Like this whole area is brim heaven um, or bluegill heaven, my bad. Um, once again, and then we've got some interior bass structure right here where they can actually go under and into the brush pile and kind of like harass the fish um, or harass the uh, little bait fish that could be in there. Um, and then we've got our famous ring of death um once again any bait fish comes out here it's gonna get face smacked by a bass just get absolutely engulfed and then out here um on the on the outside of the ring we've got just like some small little brim areas a bass could probably hang out right in here um and then we've got like the outside area this is gonna be like the expecting something to come out or get ready to go in area and it's just not going to be able to make it so that's day one um and we'll be coming back for day two so we'll see you guys when that happens so it's been a while and uh yeah as you can see we just added that right there so um it is now a complete it's not complete trust me but I mean look at this it just comes out of there and just goes out here so and it's not as tall as me but um once we put this kind of in the pond it might stick up it just depends on like how I weigh it down. So, hold on, point five. Thank you. As you can see, just once again, bait fish area right here, and then bass area down here underneath. So, we need some paracord to tie it up. Um, but we're gonna probably put some sticks right here all across this, and then be done. Not entirely sure. Um, and I'm sorry for the late update on it, but or the late second bit to this video, but I, I've just been busy and I haven't been able to get to it. So just added that today. It's a fresh limb that has fallen. So yeah, we're gonna keep laying stuff on it and we'll show you all the final product. So the final product is here and there it is. It's gotten like matted down a little bit from like rain. As you can kind of like tell, it's a little bit lower than usual. And that is probably the biggest like new bit. So as y'all can tell, we're gonna zoom out here. Uh, it's a lot lower than it used to be, but it's still workable. Our ring of death area has actually like been laid down. So a bunch of rain has like came through. I think two or three storms has like came through here and just kind of waterlogged all this. So, um, I mean, it's still workable. Um, we're gonna tie it all together and it might float up a little bit, but we'll have a cinder block weighing it down uh, This is the last bit right here um, Basically, I got a giant limb and just put it right there. So yeah, as you can see our final product looks Absolutely massive. We've got just a giant brush pile and Yeah, so basically that's it. I didn't exactly film everything um, I said I wasn't going to, so um, not a huge deal with that. But if you guys enjoyed seeing this video, next time that brush pile features, we'll be putting all three of those structures into the pond. So we got to tie it up, put the cinder block on, and we'll probably do that in the exact same video. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, because more stuff like this will be coming. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.